Hi, Pella Christian grade school students. Glad I can continue having art class with you guys this way. This week, we are going to make a bug. So this is my example. It's a paper sculpture. It's not just flat to the page, but it actually sticks out at you. It's 3D. So I'll show you some step-by-step -step things. Um, oh, Rohan wanted to say hi this morning. Say hi, Rohan. I don't know about you, but as a kid, I loved to collect bugs. I would find them on the driveway and make a little home for them and try to feed them and research what they would eat. And I love to look at them closely. And what I noticed a lot of the time is they were symmetrical. So does anyone remember what that big fancy word means? Symmetrical. It means, which I think a lot of you guys probably already said, that it is the same on both sides. So whatever it looks like over here, it's gonna look like over here. So bugs are symmetrical. That's how God made them. And so um, this week we are going to talk about being order discoverers, right Rohan? God made things in his creation to follow patterns. And for bugs, he made them follow a symmetrical pattern. It's the same from one side to the next. So here's something really strange I can do with the video, make it symmetrical. It's the same on one side. Now there's two Miss Chris's and two Rohans. Very bizarre, symmetrical. God also made us in his image. So sometimes we talk about being image reflectors and we're going to be image reflectors because God created bugs to have that symmetrical pattern. And we are also going to be little creators um, and make some bugs and reflect God's image that way. Before we get started though, I have a verse for you guys this week. It's about God's creation. It's from Psalm 104 verses 24 through 25. How many are your works, Lord? In wisdom, you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea, vast and spacious, teeming with creatures beyond number, living things both large and small. Okay, so for this project, you will need a piece of paper, a pencil, some markers or something else to color with. Color pencils or crayons could work too or maybe even watercolor paint. Um, you will need a pair of scissors and a glue stick. If you don't have a glue stick, some tape could work just fine as well. All right, so you have three learning targets for this project. The first is I can draw a symmetrical bug. The second is I can create a 3D paper sculpture bug. And learning target number three, I can discover God's patterns and order in his creation. We are not going to look at any specific bugs. If you have a bug to look at, that would be great. But I'm just gonna show you a few examples of ways that you can use letters and or shapes to create your own creation, your own type of bug. Okay, so we are going to make a symmetrical bug. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is take your piece of paper and I want you to fold it in half the long way. So the hot dog way, just like that. All right, we're gonna open it back up, slide that in there. And now I'm just gonna work on this top half. 
I'm going to think about making some different types of shapes. So maybe I make a rectangle. Um, I'm going to overlap maybe an oval and let's see a circle and what else should I make? Maybe we'll make an oval this way and a square. Okay, so now I've got this long line of overlapping shapes. Now, instead of trying to draw the exact same thing on this side, I am going to fold it back in half and I'm actually, let's see, take you with me, gonna hold it up to a window. Let's see if you can see this. Can you kind of see the lines through there? I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna trace it on that side. So let's see, you see it there? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and trace what I see. something kind of like that. If I open it up, I've got the same on both sides. Okay, so now I have all these random shapes. I'm gonna try to turn it into some sort of insect. I'm just gonna work on this side to start with. Let's see, I think I'm gonna make his eye be right there. That's kind of fun. I'm gonna make a body. This is gonna be one of his legs, I think. Let's see, how many legs does an insect have? Yes, six. So I need to do three on this side. So I'm gonna add some legs. Oh, and I can't forget Insects have antenna and ant something kind of like that. I'm gonna connect. Maybe he's got kind of a spiky thing there. I don't know. Any other patterns I could add to make it look like an insect? All right. I'm going to take it back to the window and trace the things again. So there, now I have my symmetrical insect that I made up. It is balanced. It has symmetry. This side is the same as this side. So it balances out 